Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail back with more scrolls where we're doing some live commentary, but first I just want to go over my deck that I'm thinking about using right now. Let me start actually by showing you my uh, Monogrowth deck that I have been using. I've been getting some pretty good success with it, especially since I dropped Eye of Eagle back in. Just getting me that extra card draw to get more creatures has made a difference. Unleash Inner Power still has some good utility. Bear Paw's nice for buffing and all of that, and having some extra Ragged Wolves has really helped. But just the same, I am starting to think of uh, trying to splash in a Potion of Resistance, trying to play a little bit of a safer deck. And to be honest, I'm still trying to work out the kinks with this deck. I know it plays differently than my growth deck, which is just all aggression all the time. See, this deck only has two God Hands, only has two Crimson Bulls, but in lieu of having all those spell or having all those spells and in instants. It's more creature focused. I actually have some Kinfolk Yarls, although I am thinking about replacing those with uh, Druidic Burial Grounds because I can get those out faster and they're a pretty good wall. But otherwise, the goal is to get creatures out and then to protect them with Potion of Resistance, have some Quake for backup in there. I'm still not great with using Quake, which situations are good and which are not. But so far, this deck, it's. Uh, I can see where the cards look like they play well, but for some reason, in at least unranked matches, I have had a lot of issues. I've been losing to people just all over the place. Just whereas with my Monogrowth deck, I tend to win about 75% of my games with it. With this one, I maybe am cracking 50%. I don't know. I, the, I mean, the Potion of Resistance really makes a lot of safer plays, but this isn't just as fast of a deck as I'd like, but I'm not exactly sure. Like, should I cut the Kinfolk Yarl, put back in a Crimson Bowl and God Hand, even though I can't always God Hand? The Quakes are good sometimes, but once again, that's a card where if I'm behind, I'm really behind. If I'm not, I'm not. So I'm curious about you all's thoughts. I'll put the links to these decks in the description, because I'm really not sure what I should cut where or when or how. But we're actually going to go ahead and give this deck a spin in a ranked match. You can see I'm almost 1700, and we are going to try the Potion of Resistance deck here. Because it could be good, it might not be. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. I'm still in the top 1,000 somehow, but good luck, have fun. We're playing against Lyson, who's much higher ranked than me, 1735. And right away, I get a draw that I'm not a huge fan of. We get a Quake and a Potion of Resistance early, which is okay. And he's playing Order of some sort. I get two Ranger's Banes, which are very nice against Order. But for now, I'm just going to try and tap into my resources and hope that he doesn't overwhelm me quickly. This could be the kind of draw where I have so many little mini creatures, but I have none of them right now. So there's a Ducal Infantryman early. I don't like him because he gives plus one attack to everything else. So we're actually going to get rid of both of our main Gs right away. And I'm going to go ahead and Ranger's Bane this. I can cast Eye of the Eagle next turn. To pop well, let me go ahead and cast it now because I may be able to get a Sister of the Fox or something or a Ragged Wolf just as good. Get something out on the board, make him have to start to react. I can still bane him later. So I don't know if Lysen's just playing straight up order. I'm not familiar with this player. And there's the Royal Spearman. These are things I really should be saving my banes for. And there's a Jarl that's going to do me no good right now. So we will just go ahead and drop the bane here. This wolf's going to eat it. There's not a lot I can do about it. So kind of a waste, but at least it drops him down one life. So I want to get some other creatures out on the board, but right now let's see, I have a Quake, I have a Potion of Resistance, I don't have much else. In fact, I probably could just sack that Potion, because it's not going to do me a lot of good this early. So there's a Ducal Skirmisher as well. Once again, something that I don't like these guys buffing everything else, but only one damage, so I do manage to survive that time. So let's go ahead and get rid of the Potion of Resistance. I could play the Ranger's Bane, I could play the Mangy Wolf. The main G, or this guy's just gonna die if I run him against the Spearman, so I might as well do some damage here. Cause he's gonna He's gonna attack one way or another next turn. So this is kind of a tough choice for me, because I could play the main G. I could go ahead and get ready to Quake this early in the game. Maybe that's what I'll do. Like I said, Quake is kind of a tricky card for me. Cause right now I'm just so behind on my early draw. And it's kinda like a good game extender in a way. But if I do just hold on to cards and wait to play the Quake and then put my stuff down, it could let him get to a very large advantage. 
So there's another skirmisher. See, with all these units with four health, it's like, okay, what's my quake really going to do? Not a ton. So there's rallying, which doesn't do me a world of greatness, but I can go ahead and drop a mangy right here and hopefully not get him killed straight away. Or I could just go ahead and quake next turn, but I don't like sitting on all of my stuff like this when I could do one more idle damage. That could be key later. Hmm. Tough choices. Like I said, I'm not great with this deck. I kind of, I'm still way more comfortable with my uh, mono growth deck. I mean, it's just like quakes. Quake is one of those scrolls that I see everybody and their grandmother use and have in their deck, but I don't always really have a lot of success with it. So right now we're going to be getting some pain. He's going to move his ball of death down there. He's going to do some idle damage to him really early. And that Crimson Bull does mean no good. So we're going to do the obligatory Desperation Quake. Not a fan. But really, I have no other play at this point. He does have a Spearman and a Skirmisher that's just going to be able to waylay me. I have no follow-up to that Quake. He has four cards. So... Yeah, maybe it's just some bad draws, but maybe it's just this deck really isn't working out for me very well. Because, let's see here, and I especially struggle with this deck against Mono Order. So let's see here, Fertile Soil at this rate, you know what, fuck it, let's go ahead and get rid of you. And we'll go ahead and sack the Wolf Bro. And there we go, some smaller cards that I can finally work with. So here, if I play the sister, I will want to go ahead and bane this guy just to get him down as fast as possible. Or actually, I do want to bane the spearman. As weird as that sounds. So I have six energy. This guy's going to go down eventually. If I have another quake in my sleeve, maybe I could use it. But at this point, he has such a card advantage. And he has five orders, so he can just put up whatever the hell he wants. So yeah, there's another spearman. I'm... This is already a game I know is going to go downhill. And it's really just because my deck very poorly synergizes with each other. But let's see here. I have the Eagle. What will you get me? Creature-wise or Ragged Wolf? I could play most of these. I'm going to go ahead and play the Sister of the Fox. Now I do believe both of these guys are relentless. So the Sister of the Fox is just going to eat it if I put it down there. So I'll put her down here. See if I can let her live just a little bit. Kinfolk Veteran's good. Better than what I could play otherwise. The Ragged Wolf will just die. So let me go ahead and put you down. And we are going to just... To put two Kinfolk Braves up here. And drop you all back just a little bit. So we'll put some pressure on top. See if we can make something happen. And see with my Kinfolk Braves up there, my Quakes don't do really well. And that's really one difference with my other deck is that... Like I said, Quake is a card that I've, I've watched replays. I've seen people use it to really good effect. It just doesn't seem to work like that for me. It's either the games are way too far gone one way or another, or Order's just getting out a bunch of stuff. So right now, he could take out either of my idols. There's not a lot I can do. He can tuck these guys behind this Ducal Spearman. Not a lot I can do. But he's just going to opt to take out the middle one first. But remember, it's three idols to win, and I've got to start thinking comeback here somehow. So Kenfolk Veteran or Great Wolf, uh, if he has a speed, that could spell trouble for me down here. So I don't like sacking the Great Wolf, but in this situation I feel like I don't have too much of a choice. So I do have a Fertile Soil that I can play now. And I'm going to keep these guys up here at least for the time being because I don't want him to speed up there. So we'll see if Sister gives me something good. Another Great Wolf, so I take and I get. And I'll do some idle damage as well. Of course, he can't always heal, probably with more imperial, imperial resources. But overall, there's a Kabonk, and there goes my Kinfolk Vet. Now, the sad thing is that with the Ducal Spearman, if I throw these guys against him, they're dead. So that's not pleasant. But he does only have one life, but he does have six orders, so... I mean, Lysen is way, way, way higher rated than me. And now these guys are pretty much dead because all he has to, well there you go decimate oh man so he totally just took out my ability to fertile soil too so Whew, that is how you uh 
get on top of your opponent in a hurry. So we're going to go ahead and drop a Vetter. Doesn't do me a ton of good at this point. I could drop a Great Wolf just to try and protect my guys because they're both relentless. There's not a lot I can do here at this stage other than try and kill the Spearmen. But these two guys are just going to be able to waylay me. So I want a Fertile Soil too, but... Looks like we're just going for this. The Protector, Great Wolf, the Decimation right there. I'll Fertile Soil one of these guys, hopefully. And maybe I'll get something good out of it. So let's see here, just putting pressure on the top row. Note that I've taken him away from the two idols he's done damage to. If he gets the right cards, he can take me out really quickly. So there's another infantryman. He's not spiky, but these other guys are. But unfortunately, the strength in numbers, you can see here he's going to do how much damage? Eight damage. That's going to be enough to break through most of my line with the relentless people. And if he has a focus, and he probably does, or a kabonk, then he's going to do a lot of damage to me in a hurry. So like I said, this deck is just, it, I just don't really like what I'm getting from it at this point. As, as nice as we can see, there's a potion of resistance, but once again it's very situational in terms of what I can get, when I can get it, and how I'm going to get it. So let's go ahead and just sacrifice that guy because he's, no, he's doing me no good right now. Um, cast Eye the Eagle. See what else I can get, a Sister of the Fox. You know what, that's going to help me defend just a little bit because he has two Spearmen defending that area. So, Ragged Wolf. I know you're going to die against one of the spiky units, that's okay. And I do have some follow-up. And I do have a Potion of Resistance I can drop as well. But right now, thank you Sacrificial Wolf. Not the best game I've played. I don't, like I said, I just wanted to show you all this deck. I would love some feedback on maybe what I can do better, or if this was just a hopeless match. And I'm not trying to sit here and sound like a little bitch crying because I get lack of cards or something. I just really feel like there's something strategically flawed with this deck that needs fixing. Because I'm losing so much more with this, even though Potion of Resistance seems like it would be a great addition, but it's like for what I'm giving up with the deck, I just don't know. There's just something off. So I'm going to lose this one probably by turn 15, but we'll stick it out. We'll see how far we can push with another Royal Vanguard and all these guys' cooldowns going on all at once. There's, We're going to be uh, getting the Death March here in just a minute because he's going to get another idol in a hurry, maybe two idols. Hmm. So how do I want to do this? I could play a Wolf Brother. Uh, we're going to actually... Because I can't play the Wolf Brother and the Crimson Bull and the Kinfolk Brave all at once. And I really do need that haste. Well, that's okay. I don't really need the Crimson Bull right now. So I'll go and sacrifice that for energy. Because what's that's not going to give me a lot to try and fix things. Some of these guys are going to be dying anyway. Here momentarily. Let's see here. What can I do to what can I do to play here? I can put the Kinfolk veteran up top. I can drop a potion of resistance on him. So at least that forces him to go to a different aisle here. And I can play the Kinfolk Brave up here as well, because he only has so many spearmen. I'd really prefer to take out one of these spearmen with the spiky damage with my hasted unit, but for now, I'll just stick with lowering these guys' attack, but of course it goes up to five anyway because of uh, the Vanguard. So he's going to be able, he's going to be able to take out an idol no matter what. And there's Blessing of Haste as well, so it, that's actually a GG right there. All in one go, and he gets to Kabonk as well. So, yeah, there's my deck getting waxed by turn 13, and Lyson is a superior player to me. Don't get me wrong, and he played straight up very well, but. I'm going to have to go to the drawing board with that deck. And I only lose 9 rating there. Because he is that much higher rated than me. But let's go to the deck builder one more time. I mean, what makes my monogrowth deck tick? Is that I have lots of god hands, lots of crimson bulls. I push and be really aggressive with it. The fertile soul, or the unleashing our power is kind of a play that a lot of people don't see that helps me deal with big creatures. 
I can rumble to move things around. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, Bear Paul's there to buff as I need it. I got rid of my championship rings. So far, I haven't missed them that much. And I have the ancestral totems. So, I don't know. If I'm just looking at this deck and I want to drop in three um, potions of resistance, I'm not really sure what I'd drop. Maybe the Unleashing or Powers and a Eye of the Eagle or something, but then it's just, okay, look, I'd try to drop a God Hand and a Crimson Bull. And then how do I deal with big creatures like that? So any advice you have would be really helpful. I always love feedback from you all, and I really love the response that I'm getting to these scrolls videos. It's a good motivation to not only keep making them, but just to get better. So please help me get better. I appreciate any kind of feedback you got, but this is a way to fail dropping a scrolls ranked match, but I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.